This is Native EMF with a tutorial on how to connect your iPad or iPhone to the internet via a wired ethernet connection. There are two main advantages of this configuration. Firstly, you'll get much quicker connection speeds and secondly, you'll reduce your exposure to electromagnetic fields. So the first thing you'll need is an Apple USB 3 to camera adapter and an Apple Ethernet to USB adapter. You should already have your iPad or iPhone's charger and an Ethernet cable running from your router. We have tested third party versions of these but unfortunately they haven't worked. So what you're going to want to do is take the Ethernet adapter and plug your Ethernet cable into it. Then plug the USB part of this adapter into the camera adapter and then take your charger cable and plug that into the other side of the camera adapter. This then is ready to be plugged into your iPad or your iPhone so as to obtain an Ethernet internet connection. Now I've currently got the iPad connected to my router via a wireless connection. Using this RF meter here you can see that the fields are extremely high, up at about 40 milliwatts per meter squared. Now if we turn off the Wi-Fi and put the iPad into airplane mode, you can see that these fields soon drop off and we get a much lower reading on our RF meter. Obviously the problem with that is we no longer have an internet connection. Now you're going to want to take your ethernet configuration and plug it into your iPad. As you can see, it makes no difference to the RF meter readings, which are down very low at 0.002 microwatts per meter squared. However, if we go to Safari, we can see that we still have a full internet connection. There is however one potential drawback of this ethernet configuration and that is that smartphone USB chargers typically let off a very strong low frequency electric field as can be demonstrated by an ELF meter. Now this field comes from the charger and runs through our ethernet configuration and into the iPad. The fields read up to 250 volts per meter, which is a significantly high reading. Unfortunately, this ethernet connection does require a power supply and therefore won't function without it. For this reason, we have designed, screened and earthed a native EMF, low EMF smartphone charger. And we'll see what happens when we replace the traditional smartphone charger with the native EMF one. As you can see, the low frequency meter has basically no detectable readings. This charger is also an excellent way to reduce your EMF fields when needing to use your phone or iPad while it is being charged. We'll put a link to where you can purchase this charger in the description below. This has been Native EMF with a tutorial on how to connect your iPad or iPhone to the internet via an ethernet connection. We'll soon do a video to show you how to do likewise with Android devices if you found this video helpful, give us a like and hit the subscribe button. We'll be back soon with more tips on how to create a native EMF environment in a technological world.